Welcome back. This is Automotive for you. The newest automotive information just for you. Infinity timed its QX60 update well, then, with the focus on aesthetics and maintaining the same driving dynamics. In the end, Infinity offers a fresh and cube that should have no trouble keeping foot traffic flowing into the brand's showrooms. This might not be the popular opinion, but to our eyes, the QX60 is the best-looking product Infinity currently makes. Of course, the Q60 coupe will trump that when it enters production. This thing has presence, we caught ourselves staring a number of times. But our lingering glances make sense when you look at the QX60 alongside the original JX35. The former lacked trail hard edges or sharp details. Look at this comparison gallery to see the difference. What's remarkable is that Infinity made this big visual improvement as part of a mid-cycle refresh. Yes, the front and rear fascias, headlights, and taillights were swapped out, but the cumulative effect is a dramatically more premium and refined aesthetic. We dig the way the dark grille integrates more neatly with the lower intake, and the LED running lights give the sharper, more aggressive headlamps a piercing effect. Out back, a revised rear bumper and a wider chrome strip produce a more substantial, upright appearance. These are little changes, to be clear, but taken as a whole they feel far more sweeping. The same can't be said of the cabin. The overall layout looks unchanged, though we sense that Infinity updated the material quality for 2016. The new shift lever design is like the one shown on the Q60 Coupe in Detroit. Infinity tells us this will eventually proliferate throughout the company's entire range. Also unchanged is the powertrain. The 3.5-liter VQ Series V6 continues to produce 265 horsepower at 6,400 revolutions per minute, while to work stays at 248 pound-feet at 4,400 revolutions per minute. Paired with a continuously variable transmission and optional all-wheel drive, our test vehicle felt plenty snappy along San Antonio's highways and byways, but getting the most out of the engine meant keeping the tack needle in the upper reaches of the rev range. There's definitely some CVT quirkiness here, even with Nissan slash Infiniti's D-Step Logic technology, which simulates the gears of a traditional automatic. Importantly, Infinity hasn't messed with the QX60's best feature, an incredibly comfortable ride. It's plush and relaxed, ironing out the rougher bits of Texas pavement without feeling bouncy. It's very quiet, too. Because of the way they're paved, some Texas roads produce a lot of road noise as you drive over them. The QX60 hushed these sections down to tolerable levels. Not all the carryover mechanicals are great. The steering is still too light and vague, particularly at speed. It took us several miles on the freeway to figure out how much steering angle to dial in, causing the lane departure warning system to beep angrily as we misjudged each curve. We had this 